Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the productivity tricks on Vivo V60 Lite. Okay, uh, first uh, let's open up the settings. Now scroll down until you find uh, accessibility and shortcuts and I'll show you when it comes to multitasking. Those are the things that can boost the productivity in the best way. It's the split screen small window and the smart sidebar. And uh, let's maybe begin with the smart sidebar first. Mm, so for example, mm, it's right in here. Uh, actually, let's click on that first. Make sure it's enabled. Uh, now, mm, to launch it, slide simply to the left side and in here we have a list mm, of apps. Uh, if you click on that arrow down below, of course, you can edit this bar and add more apps or, for example, uh, delete uh, uh, those current from this bar and add and replace them with other apps. Uh, so, for example, in here uh, we have a list of apps that we can add into our uh, sidebar. Uh, we also have convenient tools such as, for example, screen translation. I will show you that in a second, how it works, because it's really useful. Uh, but when it comes to the sidebar itself, when we click on one of those apps from that list, you can see that it opens in the floating window. Uh, it is really cool because uh, thanks to that we can do um, various things on our phone at the same time. Um, so let's say that we are, you know, surfing on internet and thanks to the floating window, we can quickly start uh, counting something uh, and also do other stuff. Uh, on our phone so it is really a cool thing of course we can adjust the window uh, the size uh, of the floating window we can also change its position anywhere that we want on the screen if you click on that icon the uh, the window will be minimalized and it will be uh, sticked into the edge of our phone of our screen if you click on that again it pops out if you click on the icon on the left side it gets in the full screen pretty cool thing uh, also, uh, we can open up um, the split screen mode uh, from the floating window. To do it, open up the uh, open the app from the sidebar, then place it on the top edge, release uh, your finger, and now select the second app that you would like to use in, in the split screen mode. For example, let it be notes. Now, thanks to that, um, our screen has been split in half both apps are uh, opened and thanks to that we can do two things at the same time we can quickly create notes and also count something so it is really really a uh, convenient and comfortable thing we don't need to switch between apps all the time uh, also if you click on that um, three dots in the middle you can swap those apps change their sites and also you can add a combination it will be like a shortcut click on add automatically and now you don't need to each time uh, open up, for example, calculator and notes uh, each time um, because you have just created a shortcut. Simply click on that and both apps open at the same time. Really cool thing. You can also adjust the size of the apps if you grab in the middle and then slide up or down. But remember, if you go too much, and only the one app will launch. So that's how it works. Really cool thing. Uh, let me show you that uh, smart translation that I was uh, talking about before. Let's open up something and now open up your sidebar. Click on that arrow and click on screen translation. Thanks to that, we can quickly uh, translate the text. Uh, let's say we want to translate from English into, for example, some of exotic languages, something like that maybe. And you can see that it has been successfully translated also really cool thing worth checking and also when it comes to the notes itself we also have an uh, AI uh, AI functions that can boost our productivity uh, you can see that in my case I have a note about history of a car uh, and we can do uh, we can enchant uh, enchant this text using the AI but first we need to select that text just like that uh, click on the AI. Uh, if you want to use it, you need to be uh, signed in into your Vivo account. If you don't have one, you just need to create it. And here we have functions such as Smart Layout, Summarize, Extract to Dose, 
or translate function. Let's try, for example, the smart layout. Simply select the text and wait a little bit. You can see that everything is being generated. Really, really cool thing. Uh, if you want to uh, save the changes, uh, click on replace selection and everything has been successfully selected and replaced. Really, really cool thing. Now let's try the translate function. Again, we need to select the text. Uh, click on the AI icon right in here. Boom. And let's try the translate option this time. Oh, but I think that it's only uh, translating into English. Uh, okay, I want to translate into other languages. For example, into German. Then click on translate. Okay, and you can see that everything is being generated right now. So it worked just like it should. Really cool thing also. Uh, okay, mm, let's open up the settings uh, and again, shortcuts and accessibility. Uh, when it comes to uh, productivity, I think that is uh, all that I wanted to show you in here when it comes to multitasking features. Uh, but we also have the Gemini, which is our AI assistant. And thanks to that, uh, we can also do some uh, cool things and save some time. Uh, for example, the uh, text that I have shown you in the notes about the history of a car was completely generated uh, fully by uh, the uh, Gemini. Uh, we have two ways how we can uh, launch the Gemini. Uh, it should be as a standalone ad, but I don't see it currently. Yeah, weird thing. Uh, but uh, to launch it, all you need to do is to simply hold the power button. Just like that, now we can see that the Gemini uh, appeared and it's already um, registering my voice. Uh, it, you, if you want, you don't need to use voice comments, you, you can simply launch it. And then start typing manually. It also works. You can even uh, send him uh, photos. Uh, when it comes to Gemini, we can do cool things with it. We can do some things remotely. We can ask him, for example, to search for something in the internet, how to get directions, let's say, into the nearest uh, Italian restaurant. Uh, so it's really cool uh, thing. Thanks to that, we can save a lot of time. Uh, so let me show you a few things that we can do uh, using the uh, Gemini, for example, let's try to remotely set an alarm. So I'll do it using the voice comment. Set an alarm at 3 p.m. and name it Do the Groceries. I have set an alarm for 3 p.m. with the label Groceries. All right, now let's check it. Let's open up the clock app. Uh, alarms, and you can see. Tomorrow, groceries, 3 p.m., it's enabled, so it worked just like it should. Really cool thing. We can, mm, I don't know, do we can save time, but it's really cool uh, thing to do that we don't need to simply do this manually. We can ask the AI to do the job for us. Let's try something else. Uh, we are planning a trip, mm, for example, into France, mm, and we would like to convert the... Uh, our currency, let's say US dollars, into euros. And we would like to know how many euros we get after that mm, convert. So mm, let's ask the Gemini about it. How much euros is $1,000? $1, 1,000 USD is approximately 857.47 euros. Based on the exchange rate of 0.85747 UR per 1 USD as of October 28, 2025. Please note that currency exchange rates fluctuate constantly. Okay, so that's another example how you can use the Gemini. You can see that everything uh, has been exchanged from dollars to euros. Uh, remember that uh, the current rate uh, might be a little bit uh, different. Okay, uh, I'm wondering if there's something more that I want to show you, but I think that is all. I have shown you floating window, the, all of those most important features. Let me only take a look one last time. Is it all that I wanted to show you? But I think that is all. Yeah, 
Okay. So, that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.